Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can make objects float on water in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel where I upload simulation videos weekly. So if you like that content do support me by subscribing that channel also okay. So so now without any further ado let's start today's video so here you can see i'm using blender 2.93 nice so now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing a on the keyboard and delete so now let's add a plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here so now being selected this plane come to this modifier options add modifier and add ocean modifier so we got our ocean ready here so in order to animate this we need to play with the value of this time so if you want to increase the resolution you can increase the resolution let me increase this to 14 okay nice and let's animate this now so be on the first frame add a keyframe for this time just click on this here dot here so we'll get a keyframe added so now move to the last frame and let me change this value to 25 and hit on this to add a keyframe so now if i play this we can see we got this animation here if you want to increase the height of this waves we can do that just come to this wave options and increase the scale here like this okay so choppiness i will reduce this to 0.5 this would be fine so if i play this now you can see we got the animation but the speed is not constant so we need to adjust the waveform of these keyframes so for that let me change this to graph editor click here change this to graph editor click on this key interpolation mode and select this linear so let me move back to this timeline once again so if i play this now we can see we got that constant speed here nice so now let's bring an object that we want to make it float on this water so here i will be using susan so go to this add mesh select this monkey which is susan you can use any model here so press s and increase the scaling so let me reduce the scaling here a bit and let me bring this here like this fine and let me rotate this Suzanne here fine. now let me add subdivision surface so select this Suzanne come to this modifier options add modifier add subdivision surface levels viewport levels increase this to two right click shade smooth now let me apply this one okay so we want this Suzanne to float on this water. So in order to do that first we need to make a plane and we need to make that plane float on the water by wrapping it around the waves. So let's create a plane here once again. So go to this add mesh select a plane. So press S and increase the scaling. So make it just exact size of this Suzanne. So this is okay. Fine. So let's add some subdivisions so press tab on the keyboard for edit mode right click subdivide and let me increase this subdivision counts to 60. so now being selected all these vertices come to this object data properties click on this plus sign to create a group and assign all these vertexes to this group and click on this assign button so all these vertices are assigned to this group we can change this to pin or whatever you like so all these vertices are assigned to this group so now again press tab to exit this edit mode now being selected this plane come to this modifier options once again add modifier and add shrink wrap so in target we need to select this ocean so now we can see that plane is wrapped around or on the ocean okay so now we need to place our susan onto this wrapped plane so for that we need to select the susan once again come to this add constraints click on this add object constraint and select this copy location so in target we need to select this plane one not the ocean one we need to select this small plane so in vertex group select that Pin, group which we have created so we can say we got that location so now Suzanne will be floating on the water nice so we can hide out this plane on this viewport okay so now you can say we got our Suzanne floating on water
so in this way we can make any objects float on water in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye